Nigerian equities market sustained its positive momentum as investors continue to show interest in high-cap stocks. Analysts believe more full-year results releases will serve as a catalyst for investors by interest. Mukhtar Mohamed, an analyst at Asa Investments, joins me now as we look at what's shaping the sentiment here in the Nigerian markets. Now, thank you so much for your time, Mukhtar. And it's the 13th conservative positive run we're seeing for equities now. We're seeing large-cap stock continue to hold sway here. Uh, let's speak to some of these drivers here. Well, you, 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 you know the reason for that. Uh, economy crunch, then you think of cash, and cash is king. And I think a lot of um, investors are moving there now. Mostly, if you look at this movement, this movement are for stocks that are going to be paying good dividends, especially the banking stocks. So you saw the movement there. And so we hope this will continue. I, I'm not really... Um, uh, um, sometimes you see this... Um, movement, but they are not sustained, especially when the result is out, it's more or less like it has been priced in already. So definitely, uh, unless something has happened differently, um, we, we, we know that the first quarter result might just be good for the banks, especially with, especially with the with, with issues that have to deal with transfer now. So the banks will be making more non-interest income. And also, we'll also see some of those, um, like you mentioned, Earlier on, we see companies like Elta, Nigeria, and the MT, and also they will definitely benefit from what we are seeing in the country at the moment. Yeah, but when you look at how the market is positioned so far this year, do you think we're about to see a correction in, the, in, in just around the corner? No, I don't think we'll see correction because um, if you look at uh, the earning per shares of these companies, you look at their results, um, you, you still think that they are, there's still a, a lot of value in them in terms of price appreciation, especially capital appreciation. If you look at their PE ratio, also you, you still believe that there's still a lot of value in these stocks. Uh, why we've seen what we are seeing uh, in the, most of these stocks is just because of the uh, the foreign investors that normally hold hold on to most of these stocks for a while mm -hmm. and not playing the market. So what we have are retail investors and. Uh, institutional investors and most of these institutional investors in Nigeria are moving in between uh, um, equity. Some of them move from, I mean, they move from equity to treasury to, to the fixed income space. So definitely that is not helping in terms of bringing stability in the market in the long run. But definitely when you look at those companies, by and by their peers in Africa and West Africa, realize that they are still uh, a bargain, uh, at, at the bargain price for investors. Yeah, but when you look at the interest rate environment, you think this is still going to be positive for the equities? Well, uh, you see, what is happening now, because of the low price of some of this equity, you are not seeing the effect of the interest rate on them, because most investors are looking at the dividend yield via, via what you get in the fixed income space. So definitely that what is happening now, they look at the dividend yield and they look at the capital appreciation, and investors know that the lifespan of some of these um, issues that we're having will soon come to an end. And they once those um, challenges that we have affect affects volatility and low morale, especially in the microeconomic space, where the first place to benefit from them is always the capital market. So they are, they are beginning to look at that. That's why you are not seeing so much impact of the interest rate on the capital market. Ordinarily, now you, you should expect the, the, the fixed income space to be making more return on the capital market. But most investors are looking at um, the liquidity nature of most of this um, equity and then the dividend yield going forward. Yeah, but in terms of uh, what we can expect uh, in terms of the earnings, the full year earnings, uh, uh, how are you assessing what we've seen so far and, and the, what we can expect next? Well, uh, if, we look, if, if you're talking about what to expect, you have to be looking at what you've seen in the first, second, and third quarters. Now, when you look at the result you've seen for the first, second, and third quarter, then you'll definitely be optimistic, uh, especially for the banking stock. Your only worry would be for a stock like assets, because for the first time, it wasn't able to pay 30 cover like it usually pay. Uh, you won't have to worry about MTM, because MTM was across the three the, the first um equity to cross the two trillion mark of the exchange um in in the nigerian stock exchange but again with this money transfer uh, license and we expect them to do better also airtel africa and then um, most of the banks also we expect that they will continue to do better especially with the new cashless policy of the cbn and the federal government I'd like you to speak on, uh, on company news because I'd like to speak to the company Adova. Quite a lot we've seen play out there in terms of that buyout price and uh, uh, what the minority shareholders are going through. Uh, I see that they're not happy with that, uh, that buyout price there, but uh, uh, how are you reading that situation? 
I think it's um it's same of same um when it comes to uh, those this Manova company, you you need to know where it's the where it's coming from and who they bought it from and what was the price at the time they got this um, company and were high investors. This is a company that in terms of um, their dividend payout and in terms of results, corporate results have not been very fantastic. So definitely I'm not surprised what is happening there, but I'm just surprised that a lot of investors are surprised because anytime you see an equity, we keep telling people, you should look at the fundamentals. Once the fundamental does not keep pace with what we are seeing there, then you need to begin to think about going into other areas. But sometimes investors are emotional because of the sector that they tend to play. So I'm not too surprised about it, but I, I, I just uh, hope that with the due diligence from the exchange, this is where we need the exchange to come up through due diligence. Nigerian exchange will begin to look at some of these companies and look at what they have been able to do, how they have been able to monitor them so that investors don't keep losing money in these companies. Yeah, because they're the sector that's not performing the, the, the index right now. The, uh, the sector is doing about 15% year to date, and the index is just around 6%. It speaks speak to quite a lot of potential for that. Well, when you look at potential, sometimes potential is, is, is depending on perception and how do you see how, how what, what is the perception going for? Because we've seen the, some of these uh, uh, stock comes in and they move full fast. Then in the shortest possible time, you now see them dropping drastically. So we must be wary of the fundamentals of this company. That's what I keep telling investors. Uh, if you look at the insurance sector, if you look at the year today, it's made over 250%. But that doesn't make it a very uh, a lucrative sector for investors to go into because of the volatility nature of it. And when you when you join volatility via and via microeconomic instability, then you re really have to have a challenge going forward in the near time, in the near future. So definitely, for me, I will advise investors to trade cautiously when you look at the fundamentals of these companies.